Connecting your core strength into your flexibility. Start off on your hands and knees for opposite leg lifts. Inhale, lift your left leg, and then inhale again, lift your right arm. Create a long, clean line. Don't lift your leg too high right now. Engage your core and press with the left shoulder. Then gently bend your left knee and hold onto your foot for a modification of Dhanurasana. Some people also call this posture the tiger pose. Bend your elbow around and see if you can rotate the elbow. Then press up with your left toes as much as you can, creating length through your whole back bend. If you have the length, bend your right arm and take the sole of the foot to the head. Pause for a moment and press into the back bend and then reach up again with your toe to extend, reaching out the leg and the arm. Exhale, come all the way back down. Try for the other side. Inhale, lift your left arm and then lift your right leg. First, create the long, clean line by pulling in with the abs and extending through both the fingers. Then bend your back and bend that right knee, holding onto your toe. Reach up with the toe for that modification of Dhanurasana. Then bend your arm around. This is the same rotation as Parangusta Dhanurasana. Take a moment and really catch hold of the toes. And once you have the toes, press up with the right toes and the right leg to create the length through the whole back. Challenge your balance, keep your gaze steady. And then exhale, bend your elbow on the left side to bring the sole of the foot to the head. Inhale again, lift up your toes and create that length through the whole spine. Then release and extend through the foot and exhale all the way down. Release the back through an easy cat-cow to complete the movement.